So yeah, before I got interrupted by that phone call, um, I was just showing you the vertical tower that I've constructed with the help of a couple of friends. And uh, yeah, you can sort of see it's like a three-lobed pot and they all intersect with each other like this. So they're all stacked on each other. And through the middle, I've got this running through the middle of all the uh, containers and that sort of holds them together a little bit. Obviously that could be done a little bit better, but it's just a to see how it worked and as soon as we put it up I was really impressed because we planted some of these strawberries which were coming on, already coming along quite well and as you can see yeah, they're all looking nice and healthy got lots of uh, runners coming off which means we can plant these like here's an example um, so there's a runner coming off here and it loops round and then it comes up can we get a view of that? into this pot here where it's been buried and that's going to start to send off some roots soon so there's a new plant, it's planting itself now self planting system I guess uh, a couple, uh, all the strawberries have been picked so there's only small ones on here at the moment but within about a week of going into the system they all started flowering there was lots of lettuce in here as well but they've, some of those have been harvested and basically um, it'd be nice to get this set up onto an automatic pump so that it drip feeds itself throughout the day that's something that I'll look at doing later, maybe get a few more of them because they do work quite well. And then I guess the next thing I'm going to have to do is going to be to build a raised bed for the aquaponics system around the circumference, maybe up just up to here. And then just raise beds through the whole thing. And then over here, someone was just telling me about they've got a plant called a yuccon, which is like some a kind of tropical plant that grows, it's like a potato, so it grows underground and you can uh, harvest the roots and you boil it and mash it and you eat it like mashed potato but the juice from that, you boil that and that turns into like syrup or like sugar so you can use that for sugar, so that's cool and yeah, so that's the plans for the dome as we go ahead and uh, be good to see how it all works out thanks